Jeff here, just wanted to touch base with an update about the crazy idea. Um, Julie and I just got back from a few days away on an anniversary trip and wanted to give you an idea of what that was like as far as diet and stuff. I know we'd been kind of sticking to a pretty much paleo diet and we were getting ready to do a Whole30 starting actually today, August 7th. And so in preparation for that, we were trying to figure out what to do with food um, while we were on this trip. We knew we were going to have a condo with a kitchen that we could do some of the stuff, but we also wanted to do some eating out at some of our favorite restaurants in the area. And knowing we were doing a Whole30, we decided we were going to cheat a little bit on, on some of our meals and enjoy some of the food that we haven't been able to for a while. Um, but part of that was just the planning ahead of time, and we found that to be key. It would have been so easy for us to head away on a vacation, uh, to get out of town, and to not have a plan and to end up eating out all the time and eating a lot of things that we probably shouldn't have um, that would have made us feel awful. So what we did was plan ahead, um, took some groceries, made a stop at the grocery store there as well, um, picked up everything we needed for breakfast. Um, we did a lot of eggs and some vegetables, onions and peppers and stuff um, for breakfast. Uh, we did salad for lunch and we knew we were gonna be out and kind of hiking and uh, out exploring some trails in the Jeep. So we, we took a cooler, made salads each day, uh, took our dressing with us and our drinks so that we had a picnic lunch uh, with salad that was paleo friendly uh, for us while we were out. And then for dinner, we decided ahead of time that we were just gonna eat what we wanted. Um, so we did burgers, we did some pizza, um, and we dealt with the consequences. We posted some pictures of uh, some pretzels with uh, beer cheese and some hot wings one night that we had and so um, we had a plan ahead of time and we knew what we were going to do and we knew that kind of we were going to have those things and come back and start the whole 30 um, but without that plan ahead of time it, it could have been a disaster and we, we could have felt awful during the trip and we could have just totally trashed our diet so uh, one of the things I'm going to encourage you to do if you're if you're eating healthy and you're going on a trip is to to have a plan for food ahead of time. Um, usually you kind of wing it when you're on vacation, and so we had a specific plan. We knew what we we're going to eat, which meals where, uh, before we went, and that helped us out a lot as far as sticking with uh, the diet. So I encourage you guys to plan ahead for your meals just as you would whatever else you're doing when you're on your trip. Um, like as I said earlier, we're starting the whole thirty today. Uh, our second Whole30 and so we will be giving you an update probably on Thursday about kind of how that's going. Um, hopefully it will be a little different this time. We know what we're getting into uh, but wanted to jump start some of the weight loss uh, that I've, I've kind of plateaued at um, as well as kind of just doing another cleanse and getting a lot of the junk out of our system um, as we approach kind of back to school time and fall so that's the plan we'll update you on that uh, leave some comments below about how you handle vacations and dietary needs exercise things like that uh, while you're away from home so thanks for stopping by hopefully this was helpful and uh, stay tuned for updates on our whole 30 thanks a lot